ஹலோ திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் மகேந்திர வர்மா சீனியர் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி இன் ஜுவாலஜி ஸ்ரீ சைத்தனை எஜுகேஷன் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்ஸ் டுடே அவர் டாபிக் இஸ் ப்ரீத்திங் ஆக்சுவலி இன் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் ரெஸ்பிரேட்டரி மூமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கன்சர்ட் ஆஸ் டூ டைப்ஸ் இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்பிரேஷன் இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் மீன்ஸ் டேக்கிங் இன் ஆஃப் ஏர் ஃப்ரம் அவுட் சைட் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்பிரேஷன் மீன்ஸ் say sending out of air from lungs to outside this inspiration and expiration are due to creation of pressure gradient in the lungs and this pressure gradient is created by some muscles these are called respiratory muscles they include diaphragm and intercostal muscles intercostal muscles are extended between the ribs which are of two kinds external intercostals and internal intercostal muscles so here when the diaphragm contracts the thoracic volume increases in the anterior posterior direction whereas when the external intercostal muscles contract the entire rib cage is lifted upward sternum moves upward and ribs also move upward increasing the thoracic cavity in dorso ventral axis like this when the diaphragm contracts the thoracic volume increases in anterior posterior direction means in vertical direction when the external intercostal muscles they contract the thoracic volume increases in dorso ventral direction like this anyway the entire thoracic cavity volume has increased and so thus creates a, a negative pressure inside the lungs as a result of this the atmospheric air is actually enters into the lungs this process is called inspiration which is an active process next expiration during expiration the phrenic muscles of diaphragm they relax as a result of this the thoracic cavity volume decreases in anterior posterior direction that is the vertical axis at the same time external intercostal muscles they can't they relax so as a result of this the thoracic volume decreases in dorso ventral axis so in both of these axis the thoracic volume is decreasing when the volume decreases pressure increases so that the air present in the lungs goes out this phase is called expiration which is a, a passive process inspiration and expiration together known as breathing and for a healthy person it is almost between 12 to 16 breaths per minute and we can also increase the strength of the this breathing activity by using certain additional muscles now respiratory volumes and respiratory capacities respiratory volumes can be read by using a, a small device known as spirometer this is derived from a term respirometer in short spirometer by using spirometer we can calculate the respiratory volumes from this respiratory volumes we can calculate respiratory capacities now we have to see the respiratory volumes respiratory volumes can be measured by using an instrument known as spirometer or a full form respirometer right now first one is the tidal volume during normal breathing a healthy man can take 500 ml of air into the lungs during the normal breathing a healthy person can take 500 ml of volume into the lungs this 500 ml of air taken by a normal man a healthy person this is called tidal volume 500 ml a healthy person can also take additional volume of air into the lungs this additional volume of air taken into the lungs through forceful inspiration this is called inspiratory reserve volume inspiratory reserve volume 
that is IRV. This inspired reserve volume is approximately 2500 ml to 3000 ml. This is the inspiratory reserve volume. Next, expiratory reserve volume. Expiratory reserve volume means that is the volume of air that is expired forcefully after the exhalation of tidal volume. This volume is called expiratory reserve volume ERV. expiratory reserve volume ERV that is 1000 to 1100 ml. We can exhale this additional volume of air forcefully after exhalation of tidal volume. This volume is called expiratory reserve volume. Next, residual volume. Residual volume means this is the volume of air that cannot be exhaled at any cost. This is called residual volume. This volume of air cannot be exhaled. This is called residual volume or V. And it is 1100 to 1200 ml. These are the volumes. First, tidal volume TV, inspired reserve volume IRV, expired reserve volume ERV, and finally, residual volume that is the RV. These are the volumes. Next, capacities. By adding up of these volumes, we can calculate capacities. First one. Inspiratory capacity. Inspiratory capacity means from this diagram we can consider that this volume as inspiratory capacity. Inspiratory capacity IC that is tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume, tidal volume 500 ml, inspiratory reserve volume take maximum volume that is 3000 that is 3500 ml, this is the inspiratory capacity. Inspiratory capacity means by definition that is the maximum volume of air one can inhale forcefully after inhalation of tidal volume. This is called inspiratory capacity. Next, expiratory capacity. Expiratory capacity, it includes tidal volume as well expiratory reserve volume. This gives you expiratory capacity EC expiratory capacity it includes tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume ERV tidal volume 500 expiratory reserve volume that is maximum 1100s. So, all together 1600 ml. This is the expiratory capacity. Next, functional residual capacity FRC. FRC it includes expiratory capacity as well residual capacity. These two together form the functional residual capacity FRC that is the air retained in the lungs after normal exhalation 
After normal excision means this one, only these two parts are still retained in the lungs. This is called functional residual capacity that is RV plus ERV. RV 1200s, ERV maximum 1100s, together 2300 ml. This is the FRC. Next capacity, vital capacity. Vital capacity, it includes <coughs> ERV, TV and IRV. These three together known as vital capacity. VC. VC is equal to, vital capacity is equal to ERV. plus tidal volume TV plus IRV, inspirated reserve volume IRV. This is the vital capacity. Altogether 4600 ml is the vital capacity. What is meant by vital capacity by definition? That is the maximum volume of air one can inhale after a deep exhalation or the maximum volume of air one can breathe in after deep exhalation or maximum volume of air one can breathe out after a deep breath. So this part we can inhale or we exhale completely. This is what you call vital capacity that is 4600 ml. Usually the athletes they do warm up exercises. During this, they increase this vital capacity so that they can pump more and more oxygen to the skeletal muscles so that they improve their performance in the event usually. Next, <coughs> total lung capacity. From here to here, this is called total lung capacity. From here to here. Total lung capacity. is equal to RV plus ERV plus TV plus IRV or in short vital capacity VC plus residual volume RV that is 4600 plus 1200 5800 ml this is the vital capacity usually a healthy person can take 600, uh, 6000 to 8000 ml of air in the normal resting condition. If he breathe or if his breathing rate is 12 to 16. So these are the capacities. Thank you very much and I wish you all the good luck. We meet in the next session. Thank you very much.